വെച്ചാണ് എന്റെ പെങ്ങടെ കല്യാണം നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും വരണം Hello and welcome back to another episode of D54. My name is Amit and today I'm going to talk to you guys about Guru Vayur Ambala Nadayal. When? Guru. Guru Vayur Ambala Nadayal. Correct sir. Guru Vayur Ambala Nadayal. A hard name to say, to say the least. Um, <laughs> not the hardest name I've had to say for the Malayalam film industry as a non- Keralite as a non-Malayalam speaker. This was definitely a hard one to say but not the hardest to be honest. I've said some much harder names <laughs> <laughs> on this channel. Look guys, if you're new here, welcome to the show. Thank you for choosing to watch this video and watch my review of this movie. This is a Malayalam exclusive channel, so we only cover Malayalam movies here. We just did a recent movie uh reaction of a real really a real fan favorite. So if you guys are interested in Malayalam movies, if you're interested in listening to, you know, me talk about movies, me react to movies and songs and old movies, new movies, we do it all here. I'm sure you like this channel. So Hit the subscribe button and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But getting on to this movie guys, I'm going to break it down like I always do segments talk about what I liked, what I didn't like. But I will say guys, I had a lot of fun with this movie. It was a real good time. I've been waiting for it to come out um on OTT and it finally did. So let me do what I do and break it all down segment by segment and talk to you guys about what I liked, what I didn't like, what worked for me, some of my favorite scenes, some of my favorite performances all coming up. So stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm going to give you my final thoughts all the way at the end. expectations coming in So in terms of expectations coming in guys if I'm honest I didn't have too many expectations coming into this movie because I honestly didn't follow it that much It came out in 6 it came out on the 16th of May 2024 um around the same time that Turbo came out and it didn't have a it didn't have a theatrical release here at least on the same day I think it got a, it eventually got a theatrical release but it was much after so I didn't really see it in cinema I didn't follow it too much um I didn't follow even the trailer or the teasers at that time I was just really I didn't know much about this movie to be honest all I knew was there was a new movie that features Preeti Raj and Basil Joseph in it that's really all I knew I didn't really I didn't even watch the trailer in the end before I watched the movie at all I think I just went straight in so this is a pretty different occasion where I normally will react and watch a trailer but this time it was none of that I just knew it was a Basil Joseph movie I love Basil Joseph it was Preeti Raj I was very excited to see what Preeti Raj was going to do next after Adu Jivatham because he had just completely you know had one of the most he had one of the most he had one of the best performances I've seen um you know in in a long time from anyone in that movie it was incredible what he did in that movie in Adu Jivatham so i was really excited to see what he does to follow it up obviously i wasn't expecting anything like Adu Jivatham because it was such a dramatic movie and such a serious movie and the one thing i knew about this movie was that it was a comedy it's going to be a comedy so you know it was for me it was a good chance for me to see prithvi raj do something a little bit different i've not seen him do too many comedies or even be in a comedic role to be honest the only one movie i've seen him do that in which is before i was even covering malayalam cinema was a movie called driving license which i absolutely loved with him in it but i've not seen him do anything that's really comedic in nature you know i think oh no i did watch a movie which was not the best a movie called gold <laughs> that was one of my earliest reviews i think that i did a movie called gold so he was he has done some comedy it's not like he's not done comedies before Um but I was excited to see you know what's it going to be like now especially alongside Basil Joseph who I'm also a huge fan of cuz I think the guy is just so talented um and he is somebody that brings a comedy I think in most roles that I've seen with him he's got elements of comedy um but yeah I'm going to talk more about the performances coming up cuz I was just blown away by both of them but yeah expectations wise not much guys I didn't have much really to say about this movie coming in i came in pretty blind which was pretty exciting for me as somebody that covers malayalam movies it's good to go into a movie without too much without knowing too much especially a recent movie performances so great segue just talking about sort of prithvi raj and what um i saw out of him in this movie he was so much fun in this movie i really enjoyed his performance in this movie um the chemistry that he shared with basil joseph It's a two man show this movie is. This movie is really about Preeti Raj and Basil Joseph. Those two carry this movie basically on the shoulders all the way through. Um there is a bit of an ensemble cast, you know, we have a few other actors here and there. I guess the most notable name for the Malayalam film industry outside of Basil Joseph and Preeti Raj for me was Anas Anaswara um Rajan who I've seen recently. I saw her in uh, Neerit. 
uh, the Mohanlal movie that came out last year, I think, and that she was fantastic in that. Oh my God, she was great in that. But she's one of these up and coming young actresses that I think's you know, ready to sort of take the next step in her sort of career, I guess, um, and really ascend. So she was fantastic in this movie. I really enjoyed her performance, but her role, I'll be honest, was pretty limited. She didn't have too much to do, but that's fine. This movie was about two characters, Prithi Raj and Basil Joseph. There was a cameo role from Yogi Babu, the guy who's really famous in the Tamil film industry. Good to see him. I see him a lot in Tamil movies. Whenever, if, if I, on the rare occasions I watch Tamil movies, um, he's always there. So he's somebody that's always in a comedic role. So good to see, you know, some crossover between the Tamil industry and the Malayalam film industry. Of course, that's always good to see. But it is solely on Preeti Raj and Basil Joseph. Honestly, more. I feel like Basil Joseph had more screen time, but I feel like Preeti Raj had just as much impact. These two characters, man, from the start of this movie, I think my favorite part about this movie would have probably been the first 40 minutes or so um, before the storyline goes into other places and we have all the chaos that, you know, follows. But this bromance that these two have is one of my favorite bromances that I can remember for a long time. They were just so funny all the time. Some of the dialogue that they had, it was so like cheesy and over the top, but because they, the actors, and they committed to it so well, it just played off so well. <laughs> I just thought it was fantastic. It was so funny. Every time they were saying anything, anytime they were together, it was hilarious. Like they knocked it out of the park. And the thing that I really liked about Preeti Raj's character is they like foreshadowed this like, I guess, darker side that he has. You know, whenever he gets a bit upset, <laughs> he'll take it out on somebody. He'll slap people around. He's not afraid to, you know, use his hands. So they foreshadowed that really well. So Preeti Raj is doing this good job of balancing this little, you know, I have this sinister side to me, but I'm also this lovable guy who absolutely loves his, um, what's it called, his brother-in-law. Like the bond that they share is just beyond anything. And they did such a good job of establishing this relationship that they had, not even in person. Like the chemistry that they had even just on the phone with the way they edited, with the screenshots, um, sorry, the screen sharing, um, you know, with the two basically side by side and then talking to each other. The emotions were conveyed so well just on the phone. No one else is around them. So that's a pretty good performance from them. So I absolutely loved both of the performances. On Basil Joseph's side, I have to say, this guy keeps impressing me every time I see him. And the one thing that I love about Basil Joseph that I keep seeing is that every time I see him, he brings something different. I know he's funny. I know he can bring comedy. He's been doing that from the early movies I've seen of him. Movies like Johnny Man, which I have I covered a while ago. No, it's not recently, but a while ago. Um, obviously, you know, his big breakout role in Jaya, 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 Hey, which was fantastic, but he played a villain in that movie and he showed a nasty side to him, which I hadn't seen. Look, in this movie, I will say the thing that he bought, which I hadn't seen from him before, was dancing. I hadn't, I didn't know he could dance like that. There's a whole song here where it's just like a wedding song. Um, it's a very nice song, but him, him particularly, him just dancing like that, I, I haven't seen it before. So Basil Joseph is somebody that I think he always challenges himself and always pushes himself to do something a little bit different um, all the time. So I'm always impressed by Basil, Basil Joseph and what he brings to the table. And in this movie... I can say the same thing. He was just great. He was fantastic to watch. And the main thing for me was that bromance that they had. In fact, one of the criticisms I had, and maybe it's just me because I liked that bromance so much, I wish it was a bit longer or it was extended at the end. It kind of disappeared <laughs> for most of this movie, unfortunately. But whenever it was there, top notch, fantastic. I loved every moment of it. Comedy. So the comedy for this movie was you know, a lot centered around, you know, Basil Joseph and Preeti Raj, as I mentioned before. But I guess the thing I loved about the comedy in this was that it was, it had this element of, I guess, relatability, you know, being, being, being a bro, being a guy watching this movie, you know, bromances are very common and it's very good to see movies around bromances. And I'm going to say bromance, but look, friendships in general. This is more like a genuine take on friendships because we have friendships and bromances like in you know macho movies and like action movies and like guys that will you know take a bullet for each other and you know do these action stunts together um and all that but this is a very grounded take on that this is just like two guys that absolutely love each other um i don't really know that i don't know if they go back and really explain why they love each other so much to be honest but i'm in for the ride they love each other they are there for each other they want to be around each other and the things they say to each other, like <laughs> there are some comedy scenes, man. There's that scene when Preeti Raj is, I think he receives a gift from Basil Joseph's character, um, Venu. He receives a gift and it's an iPhone. 
and he says this line, and obviously I think it sounds much better in Malayalam, but it worked with the translations too for me. He says something along the lines of, this is the this is only the second gift I've ever received in my life. And Basil Joseph asks, what's the first gift? And he says, you're the first gift. It's so cheesy and so over the top, but it works so well just because of the way it's delivered and also just the way it's presented to us is so good. It's so funny and so genuine. You feel there's such a good heart between these characters. Um because of the way they're delivering it, it just works on so many levels. So the comedy for me really worked. Like I, I, I enjoyed the ups and downs um, of sort of, you know, what they were going through. The whole trepidation that we have basically for the first 40 minutes with basically, you know, how the, the, it, it's the same girl, <laughs> you know, it's the same girl. Um, Preeti Raj's wife is essentially the girl that um, Basil Joseph's character, Venu, essentially, you know, had a relationship for a long time and they don't know that they don't know that at all it's a mystery to both of them but they basil joseph's character venue helps Preeti Raj's character out of a dark spot um with the girl that <laughs> he's still getting over in some senses so that whole tension that they had between that and the start it just worked out so well i think that was honestly probably the best part of the movie but even saying that i really enjoyed even after that as to you know what basil joseph was trying to do to break the wedding off and how his character venue was having such a hard time of ruining the wedding he goes to all extents he goes to finding people from their past he goes to going to a doctor he goes to he does a whole lot of things to try and break this relationship off he goes in all directions and then it goes the other way that Preeti a character Anandan I think they call him Anandetta uh, maybe something like a brother as like the afterword or something like that but then it switches you know the shoes switch or whatever the, you know the 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 um the coin flips or whatever you want to call it like then it's Preeti Raj's job to then instead he's going to try and break the wedding off and he goes to whatever he can do and his conventions oh it was just so much fun it was a the comedy for me really worked and I really enjoyed it this movie was honestly like a blast from start to finish um, I don't have much criticisms to be honest regarding the comedy I think it worked uh, I was going to say it is a little one note because the comedy is a little bit predictable and what we see in the first half then repeats itself on another character in the second half but I don't know it worked for me I didn't think it was that bad at all I think it just worked well because again because they foreshadowed Preeti Raj's character as this sort of darker side they leaned into that a little bit more in the second half, I felt with him. Um, and it worked. It really worked for me. I really enjoyed it. I would love to know in the comment section, guys, if you guys enjoyed the comedy or not. <laughs> because for me, personally, as an outsider, it absolutely worked. It was funny. Storyline and pacing. So this is the part of the movie that I think, if there's anywhere to criticize on this movie, it might be this area here. Um, the movie is not a long one. Look, it's like about a two hour movie, I think. About two, just over two hours, I believe. Um, so it's not a long movie. But in saying that, it's two hours 14. So it's not a long movie. But in saying that, um, I will say, while I really enjoyed the first 40 minutes or so that kept going, I don't know if there's something that about this movie that in the middle, it felt like it was just not going as fast as I would like it to be. Maybe this is a movie that could have been cut down to maybe two hours or maybe one hour and 45 minutes or something like that. I know that's uncommon in Malayalam movies, I guess in Indian movies, to be honest, to be less than two hours. But if this movie was two hours on the dot, maybe it might have been a little bit tighter. I feel like some of the shenanigans that they were doing were a little bit over the top. Or not over the top, sorry. I felt like they were just going on for too long. And maybe they just tried too much with the comedy to be just a little bit of the same. You know, so while I enjoyed it, it was, I could see a lot of people being a bit annoyed at the fact that they were trying to do the same thing over and over again, you know, get a character from here, pull him from the past, then go on um, Pithy Rides side, get another character from the past, like his uncles to help break it up. Um, it felt like it was a bit repetitive in that sense. Personally, I didn't mind it too much, so it's more like a minor criticism. Um, as, as I said, I enjoyed the movie and its pacing pretty much all the way through. It wasn't like a super long movie. I think that if this movie was like 2 hours 30 or 2 hours 45, then I think this movie would have really struggled. But 2 hours 14 yeah a little bit on the longer side like the yogi babu cameo i enjoyed it but didn't really add much to the movie you could have actually honestly taken the whole part away and cut down about 15 minutes or you could have done that with one of the other characters or one of the other storylines that they had going on they had a whole thing with like um anaswara's character's ex they had something with uh basil joseph's boss who's working and how he's going to help break the marriage they had anaswara's um dad who is like um, a doctor and him trying to destroy the marriage from both sides or something like that it felt like there was a lot of stuff happening and it felt a little bit repetitive but in saying that 
for me, look, guys, it worked. I wasn't bored. Maybe because my expectations was not looking like for a really fine-tuned movie. I was in the mood to just watch a movie that was just going to be enjoyable. And that's what this movie delivered to me. So it's a really minor criticism. If you want to say that the pacing could have been a little bit better, but at the same time, if you just want to sit down and enjoy a movie, not worry too much about the time. Um, you know, if you're not in a rush to go anywhere <laughs> or anything like that, this movie works. I don't have too many criticisms on the storyline and pacing. For me, mostly it worked. And I think the thing that really works in this movie that's really good is the first 40 minutes or whatever it is, is just an absolute blast. The first 40 minutes when it's just about the bromance is such a good intro to this movie and gives such a good first impression that you're going to stick around till the end no matter what because you're so impressed by it. At least I was. And... That's a part that I think really works for this movie. Final thoughts. So look guys, overall, as you can tell, I like this movie. I liked it quite a bit. I enjoyed a lot about it. I really thought it was a fun movie to watch. And I think the best part about this thing, the movie that I watched, I watched this with my wife. So it was a really fun movie to watch in the company of people. I think if you watch this movie alone, maybe it might be like a little bit like not as fun. There was moments when I watched a scene and then I would rewind it to rewatch it because my wife would want to rewatch it again or I wanted to see it again or maybe we missed something because we were trying to watch the um, subtitles along with the, sort of, um, you know, the video footage as well. Always a bit of a challenge. So every now and then we rewinded it, but it would never be a mistake because it would just be so funny. These one-liners every now and then that they had were so good. There's so many of them and it's really a blast to watch. In fact, it's a movie that if you haven't seen yet, I highly recommend to go out and watch it because, yep, yeah, it is just a good time. I really don't have too much more to say than that, guys. It's a fun time. If you enjoy comedies, if you enjoy, I don't know, Prithvi Raj in a bit of a different role to what he done in Adu Jivatam. I know Prithvi Raj also had another movie in Bollywood, which was not so good. I've not seen that. I probably won't watch that movie, um, even though it has Prithvi Raj. Um, <laughs> it's not a movie that I'm looking to watch. But, you know, if you want to see Prithvi Raj, if you're a fan of Prithvi Raj, if you're a fan of Basil Joseph, if you're a fan of comedies then go ahead watch this movie it's a lot of fun a quick shout out to the director in this movie as well it's the same director who directed jaya 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 hey in ripping Das. so he obviously has a good flair for comedy in his movies um that movie was much more serious i feel than this movie because it literally tried to combine domestic violence with comedy which is a lethal combination but this movie he's sticking more to his strengths in just comedy i feel i mean jaya 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 hey was also really good in how it sort of portrayed um, a really sensitive issue but you don't need that all the time this movie is a lot of fun and i think if you just go in to watch this movie you're gonna enjoy it so that's my review guys if you stuck around for this long i appreciate you thank you so much for checking out this channel again if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button there'll be more reviews coming out there's a lot of movies coming out to ott a lot of movies recently did not come to cinemas here including the ones that are out even now so i'm having to watch stuff that's a bit late in time but of course we are going to be do doing all the reviews and trailer reactions and song reactions and all that good stuff anyway so you might as well subscribe because you're going to enjoy it anyway guys let me know what you thought about this movie in the comment section and i'll chat to you guys on the next one